Today we have a broken washing machine. <laughs> oh man. I know. It, to be honest, it does still work, but when it gets to like the spin cycle, it sounds like the it sounds like something snapped and it actually sounds like a jet engine. So yeah, something like the drum, it's like swabbing on Yeah, the drum, I think the drum's just broke. Um it happened like two days ago, so we've obviously because it's been the weekend and things, we've been having to just wait until everywhere opened again because everywhere's been closed, because it's been back holiday, because it's been Christmas, been New Year, blah blah blah. Anyway, we called someone this morning and it turns out he was really honest on the phone. He said, Does this happen when you turn it? Does this happen? It's gonna cost you about two hundred pounds to get that fixed. Two fifty, mate. Two hundred fifty, did you say? Minimum, yeah. And a minimum of two hundred fifty pounds. It's just not worth it. We've had this washing machine about five years, something like that. Yeah, it's funny. The dude so, who came to fix the, the, the dude who came to fix the dishwasher said, looked at the washing machine and said, "Oh, you've got a you've got a swan. Oh, I bet that's broken down a few times. Swans are really bad make." And I was like, oh, I thought it was good because it's never once never broken once broke down, down. in like seven had... years. So we've had it. I think it must be seven, right? We had it all in time with all that, and we've lived here for three years. Yeah, five or six years, I'd say. So well, yeah, maybe even seven. So seven years. It's done as good. Down once. No, and we use it a now. lot. So it's never off. Yeah, it's never off. So yeah, Swan Swan's been good to us, but maybe we should not buy another Swan then. <laughs> yeah, but it's weird though how the dude said that, and then the next week it broke down. Well, weird, man. He put a curse on our washing machine. Curse. Anyway, guys, we got to buy a new washing machine. So. You know, we didn't have to buy a new dishwasher, did we? So that's a good thing. But we don't have to buy a new washing machine. I'm just getting some slow cooker yumminess ready. Can we turn the light on actually in here? I feel like it's a little bit dark. <gasps> if it only just got dark. It did. It's like as if the sun just clouds went away. just came over. So I'm just halfway through preparing a pannier, I think that's what it's called. Might be wrong. It's like an Italian cheese curry for tea tonight. Um, I read up on some vegetarian slow cooker recipes because I love using my slow cooker at this time of year, but I've never used it. This what are you doing? Get out of the dishwasher. Yes, close it. I've never used my slow cooker at this, obviously at this time of year as a vegetarian. So I'm trying to find inspiration. I found loads of amazing. What's wrong? Oh no! Is it gonna pop back open? Let go. Let's see. Let go. Oh. Oh. You got to there we go. All done. Yeah. No, we're not opening it. Leave it closed. Oh. Say good morning. Oh my gosh, guys, what Jace did this morning it was hilarious. He went to bed last night just before eight. He usually doesn't go to bed till like half past eight, nine, which I know some people probably think is really late for a one year old, but. Oh. I'll get on my knee in a minute. <laughs> He's always telling me so many. Usually goes to bed about half past eight. 9, 9 p.m. over Christmas time, maybe even later over Christmas. But anyway, you went to bed last night just before 8. So he slept in so late this morning, it was like half past 9, and I was like, I'm gonna go and wake him up because he's been in bed since 8. It's like half past 9 right now. Let's go wake him up. So I went into his room um, and I said, Good morning. And he literally turned over, put his head up, and went, No, like that. Put his head back down, laid with his bum in the air, like with face down on his pillow. I put my hand on his back like he used to do to stroke it, and I went, good morning, darling. And he went, go. He literally went, go. And then I saw I did it again, and he went, go, mama. So I, so I let go of him, looked for a few seconds, and he went back to sleep. So I walked out and left him for another hour. He obviously needed it, so he didn't get up until half past 10 after going to bed before eight last night. He got a lot of sleep, but I'm finding with Jace lately that He's quite out his. He doesn't. He'll go down for his daytime nap if you put him down. But then he struggles to go to bed on a nighttime easy. For example, Chris can just put him in bed and he goes to sleep. But sometimes, if we, he has a long nap during the day, he doesn't go down as easy. So he sometimes cuts out his nap, but he sleeps for so long on a night. But I don't know if that's okay. Like, to not have a nap during the day at his age, because still only. 20 months, 21 months. Anyway, he, he sleeps a lot on a night, a lot of hours. Anyway, Jace, what are you doing? Where have you got all the recycling bottles? What are you doing? One, two, count them. Count them. One, two, three. Are you very happy after your big long sleep? 
<laughs> so what I was saying was I found loads of really good vegetarian slow cook recipes. So I'm doing one today for the first time. It's like a cheese paneer Italian curry. <laughs> now anything up to tesco i'm actually not going into tesco i'm just doing a click and collect that i did yesterday or the day before was it yesterday i think it was yesterday i found this really cool website when i was looking for vegetarian slow cooker dishes i just clicked onto the, one of these recipes that looked really nice it was like a vegetable a vegetarian chili and i thought mm, that looks really good and i clicked onto it and it was such a cool website it gave you the option it's obviously something to do with tesco's i can't remember the website it might have even been tesco's but it gave you the option to just add all ingredients to bag and one thing that i find with ingredients when i'm like looking up new recipes i don't know about anyone else but i always find that i can't find half of the the ingredients when i'm doing my shop or i'm zigzagging backwards and forwards around the supermarket and it's just so much effort like to find all of the ingredients that I need for a new recipe and it drives me mad and it always puts me off wanting to try new foods so this when I found it I was like perfect literally all I had to do was click add ingredients to basket and it just added everything to the basket and then I went through and just double checked all the quantities and things so we had enough for our family and I thought that's amazing so I got two I didn't do like a big shop at, on the click and collect because Jace needed my attention and the girls needed help with things but I just added like three slow cooker meal recipes to the to my basket and did a checkout and so I need to go and pick that up now. Hi everyone so me and Ali just came downstairs and we asked today if we would be good the entire day if if we could rent Harry Potter well, by Harry Potter and he left back so we're watching number six now I have we have um rented this one and watched it before but then I went finished, so we've not, I have really fancied to watching it, so we've bought it this time, uh -huh. and now me and I are just watching it now. And, and it's number six, definitely one of my favourites. So exactly. It's just, it's really good. Comment down below your favourite Harry Potter, because mine and Isla's is number six. Jason's about to start watching it. Yeah, Jason's loving Harry Potter. <laughs> Guys, I love this part. That's why Ginny says, shut it, but we're loud. Yeah, that's in a minute. But I love the part where Draco's like, oh, Okay, this is a part. Oh, this is Ron's first Quidditch, Quidditch match. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's flashing on the camera. Is it flashing for, for you guys? The telly looks like it's flashing on the camera. It's not actually flashing. <laughs> it's not actually flashing in real life. Oh my gosh, guys, seriously. <laughs> I can't even cope with my own self sometimes. So, first off, I go to the wrong Tesco. <laughs> to pick up my um, click and collect. The Tesco that I went to don't even do click and collect. <laughs> so I had to drive another 20 minutes up the road all the way through the city centre to the place that I'd actually booked my click and collect shopping from. Then, <laughs> I don't even know why this is funny. I'm loading up my shopping into the car. So basically, the only other thing I bought on this shopping, other than slow cooker food, was some Dr Pepper and some Cokes for Chris because he's like terrible at drinking fizzy drinks. So when I was doing the order, I noticed that cans of Coke were £10.50 for 24 cans, okay? Or you could buy a 12 box for £4.50. So I was like, well, I'll just get two four boxes because I'm still getting 24 cans and it'll only cost me £9. So I saved £1.50. Bargain. <laughs> so then I'm loading up my shopping. <laughs> I don't even know why this is funny. I'm going to have to get one out. And I get to the cans at the bottom. <laughs> fact for one pound fifty more I could have got over double the amount that I've actually got 
these are only 150 mil <laughs> the ones that we usually get are the ones that you get in the 10 pound 50 box are 330 mil so they'll be gone in one gulp with chris <laughs> why do i do it i thought i'd got a bag and i just ripped myself off <sighs> oh my goodness my house smells so good i just got home and i wasn't going to take off my coat you're not eating them <laughs> no you've just had one you just had one i'm i wasn't going to take my coat off because i'm going up to the office but Jace was like, coat off, mama. Do you tell me to take my coat off? <laughs> you want me to stay? Don't put in the dog food, please. <laughs> no. He said, coat off, mama. You take me, tell me to take off my coat. Hey? Clever boy. Yeah, we we just got... We tell me to go. 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 <laughs> oh, don't tell me go. I eat. I eat. I think you've just eaten one. Yeah. Uh, what about an apple instead? Do some an apple? <laughs> anyway, babe, on a scale of one to ten, how are you? How much are you impressed with your cokes? <sighs> I'm gonna drink all your Dr Pepper's instead, so it doesn't matter. I got for you anyway. I don't drink Dr. Actually, I don't mind a Dr Pepper. I have actually just got one out for myself. <laughs> but, oh my oh, gosh! I can't believe I did that. Anyway, we did just see that there's going to be an announcement tonight on the news about. Covid, so we're gonna be down again, I'm I think now. we're going to be fully locked down. We've been doing a lot of research, and it's I think it's going to be supposedly tighter restrictions than what we had it matched. Can you get any closer, Jace? You're not having another yogurt. You can have some fruit, okay? You can have an apple or an orange or some grapes. Whoa! But you're not having another yogurt, okay? Put them back. <laughs> you literally went. Oh. <laughs> You know, there's what is in there? Uh, can I get more? No, <laughs> no more, no more. You don't need to get in your high chair, Jace. Your high chair is cleaning. You. You're welcome. Is that good? Oh, maybe we should get in your chair. Do you want to get in your chair? Come on then. managed to get all but it would have been I would have been there till like tomorrow at least oh careful if I was to get what darling come here there's no morningies what do you want Jace come and tell mommy come here and tell me okay I know what he wants <laughs> I will um, but I did have to leave because Say help. Say help. Honey. 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 It's so cute. I can't. Oh my gosh, the camera's weird. I can't believe how much his speech has come on. I honestly can't. Say out, please. Out. Out car. He's walking around going out car. Say out car. Whoa. Did you fall? You fall into. What, darling? You fell into the ho ho. Tree. Uh oh. Tell he's gone off. Say, oh dear. <coughs> Who's that? <laughs> oh. Who have you got? <coughs> Who is it? Do you love Olaf? <coughs> you got a snowman. <coughs> huh? Ra. <coughs> Ra. Oh my gosh, the living room is something else today. <coughs> oh, oh, what does he say? <coughs> Don't scare me! Bye bye. Bye bye, Woof <laughs> You scaring Prini? I'll scare you. <laughs> Come on then, do you want to get your cars out? Because the living room's not got enough toys in it yet. Do you want to get your cars out? Bye bye, Ra. You're just throwing back over there. Come on then. <laughs> Cool for teaching khaki. colours actually. A khaki! Clever boy! You got to put the red one on the red. Put on the red. Good boy. The cow's already out though. It's not gonna do anything. 
Let's put the green, blue one on the blue. Get the blue key. Get the blue key. Good boy. You're so clever. What's up guys? Welcome to day two of Isabel's bedroom renovations today. And not gonna lie, I'm kind of stood in a bit of a mess. This is the upstairs cinema room, or what it looks like right now. Stuff absolutely everywhere. TV off the wall. We do have a fully assembled wardrobe in the corner. And we have just spent the last half an hour trudging this absolutely huge bed up. And again, it's saying, thank goodness it fits in the space that we wanted it to, just behind the door. And it fits nicely as well, so that's perfect. We can leave the TV on this wall. I just need to move the bracket to the right a little bit. And, um, and all good, basically. But we are in the midst. I did not realise how much stuff we had in here, as in toys and things like that. And I didn't realise as well, I forgot that the underneath the sofa that was in here is a huge storage area. So it was full and full and full of toys. I remember the girls made a den in there a while ago. It was just full of stuff from that. And um, it's been a bit of a nightmare of an afternoon trying to get this sorted. I feel bad that we didn't vlog any of the process getting this bed up here because it was a little bit hilarious between <laughs> all of us just like, dragging it up the stairs. Thank goodness we haven't put any holes in any walls. I haven't even scuffed any walls, thank goodness. But the whole house right now is in a little bit of chaos. That's a bit better. And I'm sweating. It's not gonna be finished today um, by uh, by any means, but it is definitely gonna be like livable in. It's all gonna be clean and tidy, hopefully. Our bed's gonna be in fully. And the TV's gonna be back on the wall. I'm gonna get my drill out and get some drill on. And uh, it should be looking all right. Isabel's bed is actually amazing. The fact that it's got these huge underbed storage areas that you can use because she's gonna need it because she's got a lot of stuff that's out in her bedroom right now. The plan is like to move everything that's in here right now, like the, all these all these sets of like storage boxes and things. These are all now going to Isabel's bedroom. That is downstairs, Isabel's old bedroom. They're gonna stay there um, for a day or two or a day. Um, so we're gonna use it as like a storage room whilst we then move everything out of the dining room downstairs. So we've got to take the tree down. We've got to move the big sofa out of there that's in there. And then the playroom, all the playroom stuff, like all this stuff that's gonna be in Isabel's bedroom is gonna move down to the new playroom in the dining room. And then all this area is gonna be clear and we'll have a new playroom set up. We'll have Isabel's bedroom all set up and we'll be ready then to start decorating Isabel's old bedroom for Isla to move into it. Whew. It's a lot of work we've got to get done, but no doubt we're all gonna be locked down for the next couple of months anyway. So gives us all something to do, right? Oh man, I cannot even tell you guys how nervous I am about tonight's new announcement. I uh, just got a really bad feeling about it. A lot of reading I've been doing online and stuff. I just, I just I feel like it's going to be full on lockdown like March. Maybe even worse than March. So we'll see, but I don't think it's going to be good. Um, comment below your thoughts on it and, um, and let me know uh, how you guys are feeling about it. Uh, I'm sure there's a very, very lot of people extremely worried about um, their businesses, work, etc. right now. Um, and just about the future in general, so... Um, I definitely am. So we'll see what happens, but I'm um, definitely not looking forward to that at eight o'clock tonight. Anyway, next job we've got to do is we've got to take all this stuff downstairs. Everything from in here needs taken downstairs into Isabel's old bedroom and just dump in there for now. So we've got to do that. Then we're going to bring Isabel's mattress up. We're going to bring all her stuff up and get that TV back on the wall. Isabel's busy at cleaning her bedroom right now. It looks so big in here at the minute. It's, it's weird. It's really weird. Like I was just saying above, we've got a lot of stuff that needs to come upstairs still. Um, Isabel's desk is going to charity and she's getting a new desk, but she will be using that desk for now for a couple of days before her new desk arrives. Um, so yeah, next bit, right? We've got to pull everything down into here so you're ready to get the muscles yes. flexing again. Do some heavy lifting. So whilst Jace is happy and occupied playing with his little new cat, what are you wearing, Isla? I'm a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> little nutter. I'm a scientist. You look like one. <laughs> So while she's that, I'm going to do the last bit of a prepping for our paneer. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Curry tonight, basically cheesy curry. Bye-bye. See that later. I'm just going to add a quarter or half a cup of yogurt, like plain natural yogurt, and then a full cup and a little bit of double cream. And then I'm gonna mix that, take out the bay leaf. I put a bay leaf in there, some smoked paprika. Take out the bay leaf, put in the cheese, and then give it about a half an hour on low. The only reason I'm telling you guys this is because always when I show like what we're eating, I always get a massive amount of mess saying, messages saying, what did you do and how did you do it, etc. So I just think it's easier to just tell you guys as I'm doing it. And then, just in case anyone else is wondering, I've had that on high for about four hours. Uh, no, sorry, I had it on high for about an, two hours and then I put it down to low for about three hours. So if you're doing it on high, I'd say high for four hours. And if you're doing it on low heat, I say low for eight hours. 
that's the recipe that I got but I've done a bit of a mixture of both and now I'm going to put it on low whilst I add the cream the natural yogurt and the cheese we got the naan breads in we've got some garlic ones here already done and we've got the rice coming on nice rice is coming on nice <laughs> Right, it's coming on nicely. Guys, I can't deal with how hot I am right now. I don't think I've been this hot since Spain. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna quickly just show you guys what we've um, done, and it might not, look, might not look like a lot, but trust me, oh. it is. So, um, Esme and the girl just helped me bring up all of my stuff, like my books and things. Then, here's the wardrobe in the corner. Dad just moved over the TV. <sighs> it's a hard breath. Um, a lot and of drilling went down, but it's all good, man. Yeah. It's looking good now. Um, my bed's here, all under storage, which is all putting all of this stuff under. We've still got to move like these toys down. Um, and then I'm also going to put my LED lights up and around the room, which I'm so excited to do. I have no idea. I sw our house is haunted. That was so weird. I'm trying to like, I'm not show my bedroom because I want to do so much to be a surprise. But basically, I was just doing my shelves and my books, and I was filming, so I caught it on camera. Um, Dad went outside because he was putting away some bits of bits of furniture. Uh, Mum was downstairs with Isla, and and we were me and Esme and Jace was chilling upstairs, and. All of a sudden we heard this huge smash and I was like, what is that? So we thought dad had like smashed a glass or smashed like um, a light because it was really loud. And we were like, dad, dad, and he wasn't answering. So we were like, because we didn't realize dad had gone outside. So we thought something had happened to dad. So Esme went to run down the stairs and she noticed that the huge, big grandfather clock had fallen over. I, I don't, it was literally in Jace's doorway and it had fallen and smashed into the banister. I have I have no idea how, because no one's even there. Me and on the top floor, mum's downstairs. So I have no idea how it fell over. And all of us were like jumping and like, 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 oh, that is so weird. Um. Anyway, so dad's having to clean up all the glass that smashed out everywhere. No, being funny guys, but I think this looks absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yes. I'm so hungry. What does it taste like? Just nice, just heaven, that's all. I think I might have put a little bit too much yoghurt sauce in. It's amazing. You did, you did, I think you did it another time. What else did we make like last time? Was it like a, uh, was it like a, um, squat? Like a chili. I can't it remember. The same. I, I feel like I've had this taste in my mouth mm -hmm. before. Yeah, because mine tastes as good as restaurant standard. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think, I, I think it's nice. I don't think you've added too much. You don't think there's too much yogurt? You think it's just perfect? Yeah. yeah well, it's really good. I'm, I'm glad. Mm. So I put some chili in Dad's because we don't like ours hot and spicy, but Dad does. So I put him some in towards the end when I dished oh, ours yeah. up. But Esme is always intrigued to try it. But I did put too much in, so that might be a bit over the top. Just give it a chance, give it a chance to settle in your mouth. <laughs> Hurry up and swallow it, Ed, and get some drink. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long bad. Is it's, it really... it's quite nice, but like... There's a lot of flavour, but it's just a bit too spicy. A bit too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else feel a sense of accomplishment when dinner's done? <laughs> You cleaned up the kitchen, you've loaded the dishwasher, unloaded the dishwasher, and everything is done. Because I definitely do. Chris and the girls are all upstairs, finishing up Isabel's bedroom. They've been up there pretty much all day today. Jace is just having a yogurt with a bit of Peppa Pig. Is that good, baby? Is he yummy? He's like, yep, yeah, too yummy to talk to you. For anyone interested in what we thought about the flavours and, and the curry that I made tonight, amazing. It's it's actually quite rare that I do a dish in the slow cooker and love it so much that I want to do it again. It's usually like a one hit wonder. <laughs> We're all like, yeah, it was all right. It was okay. But that was really, really good. Everyone, well, not Isla, but the other, everyone else had like seconds. So it was a really, really nice dish and we'll definitely, definitely do that again. I did feel like there's a bit too much yogurt, but it was still nice. Still delicious. Anyway, before I settle down for the night, I'm gonna play a game with Isla. Hello. Hello. 
What, sweetheart? Oh, no. I'm not getting on my knees, darling. No, thank you. I got her a fraction game as she's learning fractions and things at, with, at, school, at home school. And this, I got this pizza game that helps with that. So I think I might have a couple of games of that with her before I can get my jammers on and settle down. So I've just finished doing my shelves. This is my book one, bear in mind, I've still got my whole trolley full of books. <laughs> but this is all my books um, on here. And I've also got my DVDs. Um, and then we've got my little calendar, um, some like schooling books down here. I just kind of put my curlers, makeup brushes, jewelry, and then here I've got my bathrobe and a hot water bottle. Okay, now for the fun part, we're doing Bother. the wardrobe. But Esme is going to help me because it's like quite a lot of work to do. I've actually got all these bags full. But this wardrobe is so big, isn't it, Es? We did not expect it. it like in IKEA, it did not look this big. Oh, because the ceilings are really high. But it's huge. So my bedroom is officially done. It is not completely finished. There are a lot, like quite a lot, like quite a few more things um, that I need to do. But when we've done them, I'll be doing a full room tour. But we've pretty much done so much today and I'm so happy with it. So I'm just chilling in Isabel's new bedroom. It's it, so look, cool. it looks so spacious. Uh -huh. There's obviously it. some decorating that needs doing in here. At the minute, we're just moving rooms around because I didn't realise how much stuff we had. I can't, my arms, I don't think I Your have. bedroom, <laughs> it's our old bedroom that's now Isla's bedroom. I'm going to show you guys it when we go downstairs. I don't know where the stuff's going. It's like full. Obviously, the playroom downstairs, that big sofa needs taking out and things, and then more stuff will go in there. The Christmas tree's not even been taken down. The yet, Christmas tree will be taken down tomorrow from there. Um, and we don't have our thingy. And we don't have a desk and everything, but so far, I think it looks massive it is it's a <laughs> massive it's so space. spacious so i think that trolley is it's going to go, go here, here. Put um she's put there for now and then we're going to get a new desk like um a proper where she can do like a homeschooling and mm -hmm. maybe double it up as a um Art. Beauty, no, I was gonna say, oh, yeah, like, I'm a gonna put like a mirror dressing there, table yeah. thing. She's got some shelves and things, probably gonna want to get some new bedding because it's all a I bit know. mismatched at uh -huh. the moment. Um, and also like do the paper well, walls well, and things. Rug as well, well, she really, really yeah. like her rug. fluffy white rug. And then we've got over this, <gasps> LED lights as well. LED LED lights. And then over this side, she's got her my stones. <laughs> you what? My stones, oh, my stones. your zen stones in the corner, stones, her yeah. green zen stones, uh -huh. stones there. And she's got all the books and things down there, which is... That's, that is not, that's not even on my books. There's like, look so many on there as well. Huh? Underneath, under here. Oh. It's like loads under there as well. Loads <laughs> under there as well. She's got all the bits Mini and bits in there. Mini fridge. Have you f filled your wardrobe yet? Oh, yeah, I have, yeah. So this is a new Ooh, wardrobe. It's not fully done yet. I've still got a few more bits to put, like, ah, cool. actually to put in. <laughs> That and that's cool and then there's that she decided to go for oak the other yeah, two went for white for but Isabel one. decided she wanted the oak one I think that was a good it choice it went better with my room dad said that um, at first dad was like not very keen on it and then he said oh I thought I was thinking of dark walnut no, ply, ply, plywood plywood yeah Ply. what does he mean plywood he thought that's what the texture was going to be no he did he said that to me that's why I was like what it's the same wardrobe it's just a different colour plywood's the different wood it different wood it's probably going to cut this out because it makes him sound like a right wallet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then over this side, the is, Xbox oops, a bit the bright. The Xbox is going downstairs, but I'm keeping one of them just like because. Yeah, yeah. The what? The, the just we've got two Xboxes. Well, the new one's going downstairs, but that's ah oh, right. Okay. To play DVDs in. Yeah. So. The camera right like really doesn't show the actual size, but Isabel's bed is actually a king size bed, so it's a massive it, bed. Oh, the stress that we had thinking we were like my backboard's really really long and really high, and we were like it's not going to fit. It's not going to fix. <laughs> I, this is the way I really wanted my bedroom to be planned out. I've like yeah. been drawing this for months. Um, and I was like, if it if it if doesn't it's not, fit now, the TVs and that wall, so that I'd have to go somewhere. Somewhere. We were like stressing. We were like, please. Yeah, I would say maybe the bed should go there, mm -hmm. like out, and then the wardrobe on this side. But the wardrobe didn't. Did the wardrobe fit? Um, no, it no, was too right. It didn't. No, it didn't fix. It's it was the, too. The, yeah. The the door and things. Uh -huh. That's why it didn't fit. But it looks really nice there. Not and then obviously, a TV on the wall, which is actually the TV that was in this room. Anyway, so we've just left that there. She's got drawers as well down there. Actually, we fit more in here than I expected us. And um, also, there's loads of space as well. Like, oh yeah, yes. your bed was really close to your drawers before. And I'm also, really, really like, I'm really grateful that I was able to change rooms as well because um, 
when you get older, I feel like you get a lot more stuff and like you need a lot more space yeah. for things. And now, really? I feel like Isla's probably got more stuff than you. No, I have a million well, toys and things. I feel like I've got a bigger thing. She might have more things, but my things are bigger things. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. But yeah. as well, in my um in my bedroom downstairs, I couldn't like roll my yoga mat and things out, but now I can properly. Oh, I know gosh. I've, I've not used it for a long We're time. We're gonna but... gonna hear the ceiling. <laughs> falling falling through. through. How many um, But now I can like properly like, get my equipment out and like properly lace out in my room and stuff. Yeah. But if so, if that opens in the middle of the night, I'm I'm yeah, I'm, I'm Isabel, out. <laughs> we've never even opened that since we moved in. The, I, in fact, we need to. Yeah. We have never opened our attic since we moved in here. I know, but like over three now years I'm ago. Because, like I'm sleeping below it. <laughs> Bogeyman's gonna I'm come out and get you. I'm a bit scared to like. I'm not scared to sleep in here, but like, do it's different. To have yeah. It in my also, what what I did notice as well, bigger. obviously, her bed had to go just it couldn't go right up because of the arch in the yeah. wall. But it does mean that you can get a one of those space okay. saver type bedside yeah. tables. You know, like the ones me and Dad have got the glass one. Yeah. Like the glass, the dark. Like a thin one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can get them in Home Sense. You'll be oh. able to fit one. Um, yeah, just I, didn't, on the side I didn't think I was going to be able to fit one down of, because obviously uh, that's too yeah. close to the door to have one there. But yeah, it looks so nice up here. Love it. Yeah, a few more decorations, a bit of room, paint maybe. Yeah, there was. Make it more homely. Yeah. Um, some new bedding and things, and it'll look so nice. I know, I'm so excited. Unfortunately, guys, today didn't happen without one disaster. I actually hate this clock. <laughs> I don't hate the clock, I just hate, I don't like it in our house. I don't think it goes. But I think Isabel said before, it suddenly, it was down there, just in front of Jason's bedroom, and there was this almighty crash, and all of the glass has come out of that top window there. Has all been cleaned up now, me. obviously. But um that's Jace's room. Right, guys, are you ready to see Isabel's old room? Oh, I was going to get my pajamas. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know how this is gonna be sorted out. I do not know. I think we're gonna have to do some more charity donations for some of these toys that don't often get played with. But most of these obviously are from the playroom. What was that? It's just a bottle of water. Oh my gosh. Um, which will go into the new playroom when we move downstairs. But like I said before, before we can do that, the sofa needs moving out of there, etc, etc. It all needs given the, a big clear out. That's the next job. So we have to do this in stages because of how the girls are moving rooms. Obviously, we couldn't put Isla in here straight away because... I mean, look at the state of it. Um, <laughs> so, Isabel's was the first job. The next job is to sort the playroom, which will free up this room. Then we can do Isla's room, and then we can do Esme's. Has to go in that order, that's the only way it will work. So, starting tomorrow, it's gonna be a renovation playroom. <gasps> what is it? Quack, quack, quack. It's oh, a duck. Clever. <gasps> clever boy, it is blue. Bye bye, quack, quack. It was blue. Oh no. Okay. Who are we watching? Little Bean. Oh, oh Bean. <laughs> watching Mr. Bean and a cat. Oh, bean. Oh, Bean. <laughs> cat. I don't even know why I find it funny, oh. Jay saying, oh, Bean. When the episode finishes, Jay goes, oh, bye bye, Bean. <laughs> and then when it comes back on, Jay goes, oh, Bean back. Who are we watching, Jay? Oh, mummy! <laughs> Who are we watching on the telly? Hello. It's Hanny. Who's that? It's Hanny. Who? Hanny. Hanny? Who is it? Bean. <laughs> Why do I find it funny? I don't even, it's not even funny. I think I just, I find Mr. Bean funny and I just think it's hilarious and Jay goes, oh, Bean! <laughs> anyway, it is bedtime. Finally bedtime. Time to get you washed and tucked up in your bed. Hmm. Hmm, he said, I don't think so. Can't go with how cute you are. It's so... Is he talking to that mister? <laughs> Has he got his phone? Oh, he's gonna bite. Uh-oh. Say bye, Bean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not impressed by that. Anyway, guys, thank you all so, so much for watching this vlog. It's been a bit of a busy one. It's gonna be like this now for oh, the, the rest of the... What, darling? Rain. What, pardon? Rain. Rain. Sometimes I don't understand what he's saying, but he's just, he's, he's literally talking so much. I can't believe it. I know I keep saying that, but he's just going through a stage at the minute where he's developing so much. It's actually crazy to watch. What I was just going to say was, it's going to be a busy, I was going to say week, but it looks like we're all in another lockdown now. 
and oh, I don't know how I feel. I, sh I can't. Don't turn it off. You'll turn it off. I feel really um, deflated about everything, and oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not even going to go into it because you always upset someone no matter what you say. Ah. But I hope everyone's feeling okay. I hope anyone struggling with their mental health is able to get some help and seek support and comfort from, from other people. And we are all in this together now, all of us, everybody. Everyone's in the same position. So um, I hope everyone's okay and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. Mm.